In Acts chapter 26, we're given this great insight from the Apostle Paul on his conversion experience. Get the setting. He's before King Agrippa, kind of sharing his story, pleading his case. But let me read to you his account of his testimony. It starts in verse 12. He says, One day I was on such a mission to Damascus, armed with the authority and commission of the leading priests. About noon, Your Majesty, as I was on the road, a light from heaven, brighter than the sun, shone down on me and my companions. We all fell down. And I heard a voice saying to me in Aramaic, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? It's useless for you to fight against my will. Who are you, Lord, I asked, and the Lord replied, I am Jesus, the one who you are persecuting. Here's what I love about this testimony of the Apostle Paul. Paul says, listen, there was a definitive time in my life where I encountered Jesus. And for Paul, it changed everything. I mean, he used to be called Saul, the mighty one. And after meeting Jesus on that Damascus road, he changed his name to Paul the small one. And that happens to us all. When we genuinely have an encounter with Jesus, we recognize who we are. Lord, you're the mighty one. You're the strong one. Lord, I, I, I am one who needs you, your grace and forgiveness. And as we've been learning through the book of Acts, God did so many amazing things through the apostle Paul. But it all started right there, where Paul simply said, Jesus, I need you. I'm gonna follow you. I'm yours. And this morning, I want to encourage you in a fresh way. Just surrender yourself to Jesus. Don't, don't, don't fight against his will. Follow him with your attitudes and beliefs and choices and decisions and experiences and friends and all those different things. Seek the Lord. Follow him. For it's in living for Jesus that you find true life.